Hello everyone, Murphy here, and welcome back to Black Mini Gaming for another Minecraft build tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build one of the most famous hybrid suspension bridges in the world, New York City's own Brooklyn Bridge. No mods, no commands, and no programs required. Before we get going, this video wouldn't be possible without all of you. Please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or by becoming a YouTube member, checking out the Black Beanie Gaming Discord server, subreddit, Instagram, and Twitter accounts by following the links in the video description below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so you can be alerted the second a new video goes live. Now, some information on the build. All of the measurements here are based on building this on a flat surface. So if you're adding this to a city or building it over a body of water, just assume that the base layer is sea level. You'll be able to go back once it's done and add more blocks underneath the tower for a more realistic look. Each of the two towers have a footprint of 39 by 15 blocks and stand 86 blocks tall, from the base to the tip of the flagpoles. The deck expands a massive 845 blocks in length and has a maximum clearance at its midpoint of 43 blocks. As such, this build will fit in any Minecraft world, but still occupies a huge amount of space. I'm going to use the natural texture pack in this tutorial, but it's by no means a requirement, nor are many of the types of pieces I decided to use. Many of the brick, stone, and wood blocks can be substituted out with ones of your preference. The final color palette of the build is ultimately up to you. Speaking of, here are the pieces we'll be using. Cut sandstone blocks, smooth sandstone blocks, smooth sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone slabs, sandstone walls, end stone brick blocks, end stone brick stairs, end stone brick slabs, end stone brick walls, birch wood stairs, birch wood slabs, birch wood fences, spruce fences, andesite slabs and blocks, chiseled stone bricks, smooth quartz slabs, polished black stone walls, red concrete, white concrete, blue concrete, lanterns, end rods, and beacons. We're only focusing on the bridge itself, the towers, the deck, and the suspension cables, the deck taking up the vast majority of the time you'll spend building this. Expect the build to take you around 10 to 20 hours to complete in creative mode, and please pay very close attention to the measurements, as one misplaced brick can derail hours of progress. All right, with that out of the way, let's grab a snack, get comfortable, and get to building. We'll start by finding a suitable area to build your bridge. Remember that the deck, the road, expands 845 blocks long. So in order to know where to build your towers, you need to know where the deck begins and ends. Make a 27 brick long line of blocks. It doesn't matter what kind, I'm using nether brick because it stands out. From the front of the center block on this line, the 14th block, make a line of 207 blocks, like this. Continue the line with 15 cut sandstone blocks like so. Then switch back to your random block and continue the line by another 401 bricks. Add 15 more cut sandstone blocks, then 207 more of your random block. Add one more block and add 13 blocks to the right and to the left to make a 27 brick long line. This line represents the entire expanse of the bridge, so it should show you exactly how to plan your city or other structures around it. It'll also make a good barometer as we progress so you can make sure your length measurements are accurate. Now head to one of the two cut sandstone portions of the line. We'll build the towers from here. Go to the first cut sandstone block and place two more cut sandstone pieces to the right. Two more moving forward, then nine to the right. Two more moving backward, six to the right, five more moving forward, two to the right, four to the front, two more left, five to the front, six to the left, two back, nine left, two forward, one to the left to connect with the other end of the sandstone line, two more to the left, two back, nine left, two forward, six left, five back, two left, four back, two right, five back, six right, two forward, nine right, two back, and one last brick to the right. The outline for the tower. Add three more layers of cut sandstone on top of this, like so. 
Then equip your sandstone stair pieces. Place a stair facing out on top of the middle rear brick, then two more to the right, two more forward, then eight more to the right. Place a cut sandstone block to the right of this, one more backward, then a stair piece on the corner. Place six more stair pieces to the right, and four more forward. Cut sandstone ahead of that, then again to the right, then a stair piece on the corner. Place four more stair pieces moving forward, then two cut sandstone pieces to the left. Five more stairs moving forward, then six more to the left. Two cut sandstone backwards, then nine stairs to the left, two more stair pieces forward, or to the left. Two more backward, then eight more to the left. Cut sandstone to the left, and another in front, then a stair. Six more stairs to the left, then four more backward, cut sandstone behind that, another to the left, then a stair on the corner. Four more stairs moving back, two cut sandstone to the right, then five stairs moving back. Six more stairs to the right, two cut sandstone forward, nine more stairs to the right, two more backward, and a final stair piece to the right, like this. Now place a row of cut sandstone on the inside of all the stair pieces, stopping when you reach an exterior cut sandstone piece, like this. This is the next outline. Add 14 more rows of cut sandstone on top of this, like so. Re-equip your sandstone stair pieces and place one on the rear middle brick, then another to the right. Place two cut sandstone moving forward, then nine stairs to the right. Cut sandstone to the right, one more back, then six stairs to the right. Four more stairs moving forward, two to the right, four forward, two left, four forward, and five left. Two cut sandstone back, then nine stair pieces left. Cut sandstone to the left, another forward, and a stair on the corner. Then two more to the left. Two cut sandstone back, then nine stairs left. Cut sandstone left, then forward, then a stair on the corner. Five more stairs to the left, four back, two left, four back, two right, four back, then five more to the right. Two cut sandstone forward, then nine stairs to the right. Cut sandstone right, then back, and one final stair piece on the corner. Now add rows of cut sandstone inside the stair pieces, stopping behind the exterior cut sandstone blocks like we did before. Here we go, another new outline. Add 15 more layers of cut sandstone on top. Once done, equip your smooth sandstone blocks and add one layer on top of the cut sandstone, like this. Equip your smooth sandstone stair pieces and face the outside edge of the rear three middle smooth sandstone blocks and place a row of upended stair pieces across them. Move right to the nine brick long row of smooth sandstone and place a row of upended stairs on the outer edge. Move out to the corner piece of the smooth sandstone and place six upended stairs moving right, extending past the next corner, like this. Then place four more moving forward. Place two more to the right, then four moving forward. Another two to the left, four more moving forward, and then five more to the left. Place nine upended stairs across the front face of the next row of smooth sandstone, like this. Three across the middle sandstone, then nine across the next row. Move out and place six upended stairs to the left, four back, two left, four back, two right, four back, five to the right, then nine more across the last sandstone row. Our next outline. Place two more layers of smooth sandstone blocks on top of the outer pieces like so, and fill in the empty space of the top layer. Take your smooth stairs and place upended rows across the outer face of the four nine brick rows. Then equip your end stone wall pieces and place another row across the face of these. Go to the outer face of the back right smooth sandstone row and place a single end stone wall piece. Equip sandstone wall pieces and place six to the right. Place four more walls forward, two to the left, six more forward, two left, four forward, five left, and a single endstone piece. Do the same thing on the other side of the tower, like so. Equip your smooth sandstone stairs and make a row of three on top of the middle three blocks in front and back. One space inside the rear left stair piece, place three cut sandstone blocks to the right, three more forward, one to the right, four forward, one left, 
three forward, two left, three back, one left, four back, one right, and two more back. Equip end stone stairs and head to the rear right smooth sandstone row. On the left corner piece, place an end stone stair piece facing right. Move right and place one facing back, and place one facing left. Move right and place one facing right, then back, then left. Round the corner. In the next space, place one facing right, then place a solid end stone block. Another stair facing right, another solid block, then a stair facing back, and another solid block. Moving forward, place a stair facing right, a solid block, another stair, and another block. Round the corner. Place a stair facing forward, then another solid block. A stair facing right, a block, and another stair. In the next space, place a stair facing left, then one facing forward. Another stair facing right, place another stair facing left, forward, and right again. Then place an end stone slab on top of each of these, like so. Now mirror the process on the other side of the tower. Now equip your cut sandstone blocks and head to the empty space just inside the rear right end stone stair row. Moving left to right, make a five block row of cut sandstone, place four more forward, two right, two forward, two left, four forward, and four left. Three more back, one left, four back, one right, and two more back. Mirror that on the other side of the building. Here's what it should look like. Add six more layers of cut sandstone to the three outlines here, like so. Now re-equip your sandstone stairs. On the front and rear middle three bricks, place stair pieces. Place cut sandstone blocks on the rest. Go to the rear right line of sandstone and make a five brick row of stairs left to right. Then three more stairs moving forward. Cut sandstone on the next two spaces, then three more stairs, like this. Two cut sandstone pieces, then four stairs to the next corner. Four more stairs to the left, then cut sandstone on the rest. Mirror this on the other side of the tower. Be sure to add cut sandstone to the inside of the stair pieces, like so. Add 12 more layers of cut sandstone to the three sections and re-equip your stairs. Place three stair pieces on the front and rear middle three blocks, then place cut sandstone on the rest, and more inside the stair pieces. Move to the right structure. On the rear four blocks, place stairs. Then another stair ahead to the left, like this. Place three more stairs on the rightmost three blocks, then four more stairs on the frontmost four blocks, and another stair behind to the left. Cut sandstone on the rest, and more inside the stair pieces to make the next outline, like so. Mirror this on the left. Take your cut sandstone and add 13 layers of blocks to the rear middle three spaces, then again on the spaces just inside to the left and right, like so. Do so again for the front of the middle structure. Now equip your smooth sandstone and add four layers of blocks on the right and left five space lines, like so. Then add nine layers of cut sandstone on top of those. Base the cut sandstone row above the smooth sandstone and make three more five block rows of smooth sandstone right up against the other blocks. Then six rows of cut sandstone on top of these. Do so on both sides. Go down to the cut sandstone row above the smooth sandstone and make a single five brick row of smooth blocks. Add five rows of cut sandstone on top. Go back down, another smooth row on the lowest cut row, then four more rows of cut sandstone on top. Go down, new smooth row, three cut sandstone rows on top. Now place four rows of cut sandstone on the face of all of this and add a row of smooth sandstone below it, like so. Place five rows of cut sandstone on this and another row of smooth below it. Six rows of cut sandstone, three rows of smooth sandstone nine rows of cut sandstone, and the final four rows of smooth sandstone to connect the sections. Here's what that looks like. Now add 13 layers of cut sandstone to the remainder of the spaces on the left and right structures. Here's our new outline. Add a layer of smooth sandstone to all the outer bricks, like this. Then equip your smooth sandstone stairs. Place rows of upended stairs against the outside face of the four 10-brick rows, like this. 
then to each of the three brick rows in the front and the rear, like so. Then finally to the left and rightmost three brick rows. Add three layers of smooth sandstone to the outer bricks, like this. Equip your smooth stairs and face the rear three smooth bricks. Wrap a row of seven upended stairs around the three bricks, like so. Face the left of the next group of sandstone. Place an upended stair, another behind it, four to the right, and three forward. Two more to the right, four forward, two left, three forward, four left, and one back. Mirror all of this for the front middle three bricks and the left side of the building. Now add a layer of smooth sandstone stairs on top of all the outer blocks, like this. Then equip smooth sandstone slabs and wrap a row all the way around the outer, lower half of these new stairs. Then fill in the empty space up top with smooth sandstone blocks, like so. Structurally this is done, but let's add some decorations on top. Equip smooth quartz slabs, face the rear three smooth sandstone blocks of the roof, and move forward a space. Make a row of three quartz slabs, then moving forward, make five rows of five slabs ahead of this, centered, then a final row of three ahead of that. From the left and right rear three bricks, move two spaces forward and make five rows of three slabs. Stack two more slabs on the middle innermost slab, then replace the bottom two with a beacon, like so. Go back to the middle group of slabs. Replace the centermost slab with a polished blackstone wall piece. On the slab immediately to the right, stack two more slabs and replace the bottom two with a beacon. Now stack eight more blackstone wall pieces on top of the other, then top it with a lantern. To the right of the top blackstone wall, place a piece of blue concrete, then another below that, then a red and a white. Place white concrete immediately to the right, then another in front of it, breaking the previous piece like this. Add another white concrete piece to the right, red concrete on top of these, two blue concrete pieces on top of the left red block, then a white and a red on the right. Add a red to the right, then immediately behind, breaking the previous piece. Add another to the right, one more, then another behind it, breaking the previous piece. Place white concrete below each of these, red, then white again, to complete a nice, billowing American flag. Okay, that's one tower down. Now all you have to do is head back down and follow the center line to the next 15 block row of cut sandstone, then follow the exact same instructions to finish the second tower. All you have to do is make sure that your flags are blowing in the same direction. There we go, all finished. With the towers completed, it's time to move on to the deck. Head to the outer side of one of your towers, the side facing away from the rest of the bridge and line yourself up with the rows of end stone brick wall pieces, here. Follow them inward until you reach the middle portion of the tower. Place another end stone wall piece on the left and right smooth sandstone blocks here, like this. Now add seven wall pieces moving backward from the two outer and two inner single wall pieces, like so. And add another piece below the ends of the outer rows. Now make a row of 21 pieces across to connect them, like this. Now add 28 pieces moving back from the spaces below each of the four rows, a piece below the outer two, and 21 pieces across to make a row. Hopefully you're sensing a pattern. Add 24 pieces moving back from below the four rows, another below the ends, and a row of 21 across. Add 20 pieces back, another below, and a row across. The next set of measurements we'll do once, then repeat seven more times. It's like this. 16 more wall pieces moving back, one below the outer ends, and a row across. Repeat once, twice, three times, four, five, six, and seven. On the seventh, don't add more walls beneath. Instead, below the outer two rows, add an end stone bricks block. Then add two more to the outside. Now add a row of five end stone bricks blocks below the center two wall rows. 
Now add rows of wall pieces between the groups of blocks, like so. Add two rows of three blocks beneath the outer block rows, then two rows of five beneath the center, then another row of wall pieces beneath the ones that are there. Here's how everything should be looking. Face the left of the four wall rows, place an end stone block to the immediate right, then place seven andesite blocks to the right, and one more end stone block. Place an end stone wall between the ends of the next two wall rows, place an end stone block, seven andesite blocks, then a final end stone block. Head forward to the next crossing row of walls and do the same thing. Repeat this 10 more times until you're back up to the tower. Now re-equip your wall pieces. Face the rows of walls that are right up against the tower. Find the middle wall piece of the row, then make a row of wall pieces backward. It'll meet the end as out behind you. Lower yourself to the row of walls below the andesite, find the middle piece, and make a row of walls backward until you meet the next andesite row. Lower yourself and do so again. Then keep doing so until you reach the end of the bridge, like so. Face the inside of the last andesite rows and place upended stair pieces against them. It'll be four rows of four. Switch to your wall pieces and make a row all the way across these, even in the very center. Switch to your slabs and make a row across the top half of the wall pieces, except the very center. You're going to alternate between rows of wall pieces and rows of slabs. Wall pieces all the way across and slabs across except for the very center. Once you reach the next rows of andesite, add upended stairs to their inside faces, then wall pieces, then slabs. Then alternate until you reach the next row of andesite. You're going to keep repeating this process until you get all the way back to the tower. This is easily one of the most tedious parts of the build, but stick with it. Mix up the work any way you need to, filling in the wall pieces first, then the slabs, or any way you see fit, as long as the end result looks like this. Now head to the other side of the tower. Add two wall pieces to the middle section here, like we did earlier, now add seven to each, then connect them all. Add another wall piece on top of the last piece of the four rows. Now add 28 more pieces to each and connect the ends. Then add another piece on top of each end. Before we continue, we're going to fill these in. Place an end stone block inside the outer wall pieces, add seven andesite blocks, another end stone block, then a wall piece in the very middle. Do so again between the others, here. Go back to the wall piece row up against the tower and make the middle rows all the way out, like so. Then again from the row of andesite. Now fill these in like we've been doing, alternating slabs and wall pieces and placing upended stairs on the back of the andesite, like so. Now drop under the deck and head to the middle portion of the tower, under the two wall pieces right up against the sandstone. Add two more below each. Scooch back by five cross rows of wall pieces like this. Place another wall piece in the very middle, right underneath, then five more on either side. Place two more below the wall on either side of the center. Skip a space in either direction and do so again, then again. Make a row of slabs across the bottoms of these, then make another in the direction of the tower, like this. From the left two and the right two of these poles, move toward the tower to the next cross row under the deck and make more poles like this. Then on the next row, again and again. Add a row of slabs under these new poles and one between them. They'll be seven blocks long and perpendicular to the other rows of slabs. Now add a row of slabs across these under the first two poles, 11 bricks across. Look at the tower. You'll see two rows of upended smooth sandstone stairs to the left and right of the middle portion of the tower. Immediately beneath these, make a nine brick row of slabs, then add another row to those. Look up at the deck to the cross row of wall pieces. Under the outside ends, add two wall pieces underneath. Skip a space inside, add two more. Skip over two more spaces and do so again. Now add another row of slabs below these, from end to end, 21 pieces. Head back to the outer line of poles and look up at the center. Count back by three cross rows, then one more space. Add two wall pieces below the left and right center wall rows. Move back two more spaces and make two more. 
skip a space to the left and right and make more poles right on the wall row. Move out by three more spaces, both to the left and to the right, and make two poles on the row going through the middle of the road and straddling the row cutting across it. Skip a space and make three poles, one on each of the three cross rows cutting across. Skip another space and make three more. Do so on the left and right sides of the bridge, like so. Under the groups of six poles, make three rows of five slabs, like this. Make a row of slabs to connect the middle of these, 15 slabs long, then another row on either side to finish covering up the bottoms of the poles. Here's what everything should be looking like now. Now let's get back to building the deck. Equip your wall pieces and head back to where we left off. Add 32 wall pieces back from the outer two and middle two rows. Connect the ends, then add another piece on top of the ends. Add 36 pieces back, connect the ends, and add pieces on top of the ends. Now add 40, connect and add. Add 44, connect and add. Now add 28, then add a piece below each and connect those. Now we're working in reverse. Place 44, a piece below each, then connect. 40 more, piece below, connect. 36, piece below, connect. 32, piece below, and connect. We're gonna pause here and start filling everything in. You know the deal. On one end of the cross row, add an endstone block, seven andesite blocks, another endstone, a wall piece in the middle, endstone, seven more andesite, and a final endstone block. Do this on every cross row across the deck, eight more times, like this. From the middle of the last andesite rows, make your middle rows back to the next section. Skip back to the next andesite row and do so again, then again, then once more. For this top section of the deck, make the middle row between one section of andesite to the next. For the next section, drop one space below the andesite row and make your middle rows back to the next section. Repeat for the next three sections. Like so. Face the inside of these last andesite rows and add your upended stairs. Now the wall pieces all the way across both sections, and the slabs excluding the center. Keep repeating all of this until you reach the highest portion of the deck. Again, it's tedious, but worth it. In this section, add stairs to the inside faces of both andesite sections, so they're facing each other. Now continue alternating the wall pieces and slabs. By now you should be able to fill in the next four sections on your own. Like so. Now it's time to build up the deck from behind the other tower and connect it to what we've done so far. You just have to repeat exactly what we did at the start of this section of the video. If you need help, just rewind the video to the beginning of this section until you finished your work. I'll see you on the other side of the montage. Okay, here's how everything should look. At this point, you can go ahead and destroy the reference line down below. Equip your endstone blocks and head to one of the ends of the deck. On the left side, face the endstone block between the wall and andesite. Place another endstone block on top of it. Switch to endstone stairs, then place three ahead of it, like so. Now place another regular block. Three more stairs, a block, three more stairs, block, and three more stairs. Move up and start the process again. Block, three stairs, block, etc. All the way to the next section. Keep doing this across the edge of the sections until you reach the tower, where you'll place three final stair pieces, ending right against the cut sandstone, like this. Turn around and face the opposite wall and begin the process going in the opposite direction, until you reach the end of the deck. Now mirror this process starting at the right side of the end of the deck, like so. Now take your wall pieces and make a line across the tops of the blocks and stair pieces, from the end of the deck back to the tower. Do so for all four sides of the roads. Switch to andesite slabs. Start at the end of the deck, the left road, and one space inside the row of andesite blocks. Place a layer of andesite slabs on top of the endstone walls and slabs between the rows of blocks and stairs, up until you meet the next row of andesite. Like this. 
skip over the andesite row and make a layer on the next section. Repeat and repeat and repeat until you reach the tower. Stop when you reach the last stair pieces. Then move over to the right roadway and go in the opposite direction. Keep going all the way until you reach the end of the deck. Re-equip your wall pieces. On the left piece of the leftmost end stone row, the one above the end stone block, place two more wall pieces on top. Move forward to the next wall piece above a solid block and do so again, like so. Now keep going, adding two wall pieces to every piece above a solid block, all the way to the tower. Once you add the pieces over the last block, turn around and do so in the other direction. Now repeat the process on the right roadway. Starting again at the left end of the deck, you're going to make rows of wall pieces on top of these additions. So add a wall piece to the last one on the left and carry the row until it meets the one in the next section. Move up, place a piece, and carry the row forward. Keep going and going until you reach the cut sandstone of the tower. Then turn around and go in the other direction. All the way back to the end of the deck, like this. Now do so again for the right side of the deck. From the end, from left to right, make a seven-piece cross row of walls between the tops of the vertical wall pieces, like this. Move down by one space and make a three-piece row across the center. Then move back up and make a seven-piece row between the vertical wall pieces on the right portion of the deck. Here's what that looks like. You're going to do this between all the vertical wall pieces on the deck, all the way up to the section leading into the tower. You have three more rows to make. The first row across, make like we did before, 7 left, move down, 3, move up, 7. For the next two, make the rows all the way across the top, like this. You're going to connect these two cross rows with a new line. Count out from the center by three spaces on the new rows, here, and make a new line between them, like this. Continue the new lines by three more pieces, like so, move forward another space, then make a seven-piece row across the inside of the tower, like this. Continue the line by three more pieces, then make another row across in the tower. On the left and right sides of the inside of the tower, add three more wall pieces against the cut sandstone, then three stair pieces on the floor below them, like this. Add your andesite slabs across the floor of the tower up until the next section of the deck starts. Now repeat this entire process starting at the other end of the deck. Once you're done, face the three stair pieces on the floor of the tower. Place an end stone block ahead of them, then three more stair pieces, another block, then three more stair pieces. Hop up to the next section, place a block, three more stairs, a block, and so on. Keep repeating this pattern until you reach the tallest portion of the deck, then turn around and repeat the process for the other side of the road, doing so for both roadways. Equip your andesite slabs and place a layer on each section like we did before, and stopping when you reach the andesite of the tallest section, like so. Now add rows of wall pieces across the tops of all four rows of stairs and blocks, stopping right before the tallest section of the deck. Repeat all of this from the inside face of the other tower, again stopping at the edge of the tallest section of the deck, like so. Now start the block and stair pattern on the tallest section, blocks next to the andesite, three stairs, block, etc. Add your andesite slab layer between the andesite block rows, then add the rows of wall pieces on top of the stairs and blocks, like this. Now add two more wall pieces on every part of the wall row above the end stone blocks. Do so all the way across the deck, then add an additional row of walls atop all of these, effectively connecting the towers. Now we need to start marking the cross rows across the top. Head to the inside face of one of the towers, it doesn't matter which, and line yourself up with the end stone walls cutting through the cross rows. Extend it by three wall pieces, move a space back, and make a seven piece cross row, and a three piece cross row in the center, like this. Do so again. Now equip your end stone slabs, fill in the space between the center cross rows with a nine slab square, lined up with the top half of the wall pieces. Move right and fill in the next little gap with six slabs. Move forward and do so again then again, then two more times. Fill in the center gap on the other side of the tower, then the next side of gaps until you're back to where you started. Repeat this process for the other tower, like this. Now we're going to make our cross rows across the rest of the deck. Start by facing the inside of one of the towers, 
then move out to the beginning of the next deck section, here. Make a seven piece cross row above the left and right roadways, right where the vertical pieces meet the elevated row. Then move down a space and make a three piece cross row in the center. You know the drill from here. Keep adding cross rows all the way across the deck to the other tower. All right, nearly done. It's time to build the walkway. Head to one of the ends of the deck and equip your birch wood stairs. Face the center cross row here and move forward until you reach the first cross row of the next section. Place three stairs across the face of the cross row, like this. Then switch to birch slabs. From the lower half of the stairs, make three long rows of slabs all the way back to the first cross row, like this. Move forward to the next empty section and repeat the steps. Three stair pieces, three rows of slabs backward. Repeat the process nine more times until you reach the section cutting through the tower, like this. Move forward to the next cross row, place three stairs, three rows of three slabs behind it, then another three slabs on top of the cross row. Equip the birch fence pieces. To the left and right of the three slabs, place a fence piece on the walls, then place four more behind each. Move back to the first piece and place three more to the outside, then 20 more moving forward from there then back in by three more spaces. Now fill in the floor inside these fence pieces with birch slabs. Here's how that should look. From the two last fence pieces, add three more moving forward from each. Move forward until you reach the next elevated cross row. Place three birch stairs, then three rows of slabs moving back, like this. Move up to the next cross row of the next section of the deck, stairs, and slabs. Repeat until you reach the highest portion of the deck, like this. Head all the way over to the other end of the deck and repeat the entire walkway process until you again reach the center portion of the deck. Now here we are at the naked center of the bridge. Just use your birch slabs to fill it in, stair pieces to stair pieces. And there it is. All that's left is to add the suspension cables and the lights. Head to either end of the deck, doesn't matter which. Face the left side, the last piece of the outer wall row, and place another wall piece on top of it. You'll notice it's right next to the vertical wall pieces. Move forward to the next vertical pieces and place a wall piece on the outer row. This is the pattern. Keep placing on the outer row every four spaces forward right next to the vertical pieces. Go to the other side of the tower and start placing again, all the way across to the next tower. Go to the other side and keep placing until you reach the other end of the bridge, like this. Go to the other side of the deck and begin the process again going in the other direction. Now equip chiseled stone bricks and head to the outside face of one of the towers. Rise up to the top left group of smooth sandstone, here. From the upper right of these six blocks, place two chiseled stone blocks moving backward. Scooch right to the middle group of cut sandstone. From the top left and top right pieces, place two chiseled blocks backward. Go to the next group of cut sandstone and place two chiseled blocks back from the top left piece, like so. We're going to be placing rows of bricks diagonally, so to make the next row, place a block underneath the last piece of the previous row and start the next row from there. Once done, break that extra piece below the previous row. We'll start with the outer cables. First, we need to make 20 more rows of two chisel blocks diagonally downward, just like this. Now we're making seven rows of three chisel blocks. After that, five rows of four. Now five rows of five, four rows of six, three rows of seven, two rows of eight, two rows of nine, a single row of 10, and the final row of 12 all the way to the nine brick square of end stone blocks, like this. From the top middle end stone block, add five more across the top of the chiseled stone, then an upended end stone stair piece. From the bottom middle end stone block, add five end stone blocks back and a stair piece right side up. On the outer side of the stair piece, add an end stone block, two stairs moving back, another block, and two more stairs, like this. 
Going back the other way, add two wall pieces on top of the stairs, a block, two more wall pieces, and another block. Move up, place a block, two upended stairs, a block, two upended stairs. Do the same on the inner side, like so. It'll be the same process for the ends of both outer suspension cables. Now head back to the top of the tower to the two chisel block rows in the center. We'll use the same measurements as the outer cables for both of these, so let's get started. 20 more rows of two, seven rows of three, five rows of four, then five rows of five. For the fifth row of five, you'll need to break the birch slabs and replace them with the chisel blocks. Now drop below the deck and approach the chisel blocks from underneath. It's four rows of six now. Go ahead and break whatever pieces of the endstone cross rows that you need to. You won't need to break that much. Now three rows of seven. Then two rows of eight, which will require breaking more of the wall pieces making up the bottom of the bridge. Like this. Now two rows of nine, a row of 10, then the final row of 12, connecting to the three by five end brick wall at the end. From the top, middle, and bottom center bricks of the wall, add three rows of six end stone blocks moving back, like this. Add five blocks on top of the chisel blocks with an upended stair, five blocks below, and a staircase right side up. Same as the outer cables, end stone blocks beside the upper and lower stair pieces, same placement of stones in the middle with wall pieces between the stair pieces. Like this. Now head back to where the deck meets the tower and equip your spruce fence pieces. We're going to be adding fence pieces to the top of the additional end stone wall pieces we placed along the outer wall rows of the deck. Starting here, place a fence piece and carry it vertically until you meet the inside face of the chiseled stone blocks. Like this. Go back down, move to the wall piece, and do the same. Keep doing this until the point where the cable meets the side of the deck, 32 more times. Do so for both outer cables. For the inner cables, you're going to start adding spruce fences to the corner of the birch fence pieces near the tower, here, and keep placing vertically until you meet the outside face of the chiseled stone, like this. Move back by four spaces and start up the next group of fences on the last birch fence pieces. You'll keep doing this another 23 times. Here's how it looks. Now repeat all of this on the outside face of the other tower. Cue montage. All right, time to make the cables between the towers. Face the inside of one of the towers and place the chisel bricks like we did on the other side, like this. Like before, we're starting with the outer cables. Add four more rows of two, seven rows of three, three rows of four, two rows of five, two rows of six, two rows of seven, and two rows of eight. Now place a single row of nine. One of 10, of 11, of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. We're going up now. Row of 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and nine. Two rows of eight, two rows of seven, of six, and of five. Three rows of four, seven rows of three, and five rows of two, finally connecting to the other tower. Now for the inner two cables, head to the two rows of chisel bricks in the middle of the tower you placed earlier, or add them if you're working from the tower without them, then add four more two block rows. Seven rows of three, three rows of four, two of five, two of six, of seven, and of eight. A single of nine, 10, 11, and 12. 
The third team brick row is going to cut through the birch slabs of the next deck section, like this. Now head below the deck and approach from underneath. The 14 black row will cut through some of the endstone cross rows. Then make the 15 block rows. Then the 16 block rows. Now the 17 block rows, which will cut through the endstone wall pieces making up the bottom of the deck, like this. You know the deal. Move up, make your 16 block rows, 15, 14, 13, breaking through the birch slabs, 12, 11, 10, and 9. 2 of 8, of 7, 6, and 5, 3 of 4, 7 of 3, and as many two brick rows until you meet with the other tower. Equip your spruce fence pieces and head to the outer row of endstone walls beside the tower. Like we did before, add fence pieces vertically from each of the single endstone pieces we put on the outer row, all the way up to the inside face of the outer chiseled stone blocks. You'll do so a total of 46 times per outer cable, ending about midway through the 16 block row of cables, like this. Do so again, starting from the other tower, headed toward the middle section of the deck. Head up to the center of one of the towers, build spruce fences on top of the corners of the birch fences, headed up to the outside face of the center cables, like this. Move back four spaces, check to make sure you're still in line with the spruce fences of the outer cables, and build up from the end stone walls around the walkway. Do so 33 more times, like this. Head to the other tower and repeat. Look at that. A lot of repetition, countless wall pieces and slabs, and we have ourselves a bridge. But we need to light it up just a bit. Equip your lanterns and head to one of the ends of the deck. Head inside one of the roadways and look up at the second cross row. Below the innermost wall piece of the cross row, hang a lantern. Skip the next cross row and place another on the fourth. This is the pattern. Skip a row, place, skip a row, place. Keep going and going and going until you get into the tower. Hang a lantern under each of the two cross rows in the middle of the tower, like this. Skip the next and place. Keep going, going and going and going until you reach the tallest portion of the deck. Place the first, skip, place, then skip twice. Now place and skip. Place and skip all the way to the next tower. Place on the two middle cross rows inside the tower, then go back to alternating until you've reached the other end of the deck. Then pop inside the other roadway and do the whole thing again in the other direction. Now to light up the outer cables. From the end of the deck, follow the outer cable until you reach the last bit of spruce fence attached to the chiseled stone. Now place a lantern on the chiseled stone. Keep going forward, placing a lantern on the cable where a spruce fence piece meets it. Stopping at the last one. Go to the other side of the tower and start doing so again, following the cable down until the last fence piece. Count forward four more spaces along the cable and place another lantern, then again, then six more times. Four more spaces and you're back to the spruce fences. Keep going all the way up to the next tower. The other side, then back down to the last spruce fence piece. Now repeat for the other outer cable, all the way across the bridge, like this. One final thing before we're done. Equip your end rods and head to either end of the walkway. Look at the cross rows on your left. Stick to the walkway and count three cross rows. Count two more spaces from the third cross row and place an end rod on the wall left of the walkway. Now look right. Count six cross rows. Two more spaces, place an end rod. Left, six cross rows, two spaces, end rod. Right, six cross rows, two spaces, end rod. Sensing a pattern? Left, six rows, two spaces, end rod. Right, six rows, two spaces, end rod. Left, six, two, end rod. Right, six, two, end rod. Left, six, two spaces, 
and the end rod right on the birch fencing. Right, six cross rows through the tower, two spaces, end rod on the fence. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and one more to the right, like this. Now head all the way to the other end of the deck and work your way back to the middle, placing your end rods on alternating sides of the walkway. You should end two cross rows away from the other end rod in the middle. And there it is! Brooklyn Bridge! In Minecraft! No mods, no programs required. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and building along. If you liked the video, please drop a like and comment your thoughts down below. Also consider subscribing with notifications turned on, supporting the channel through YouTube membership or Patreon, or by joining the Black Beanie Gaming community on Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and Discord by using the other links in the video description below. Anyways, that's it from me today. My name is Murphy, and thanks for checking out the channel today. I'll see you next time.